Hi, this is lesson number four from our Photoshop training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about layers. Of course, we cannot cover all the features of the layer in one lesson because there is a lot of features associated with the layer still we did not learn. So if I will push you in that things, of course, it will be hard for you to understand the things. On this point, we are going to learn about the basic controls that we need this time. Here I have document one canvas with the three images. If I will click and drag, you can see the main canvas having butterfly. Here we have one JPEG floral design that is from a vector and this is a rose image. These two images we transfer from the other canvas. This flower here I have. To transfer image, it is very simple. You need to click on the move tool and simply click and drag and that's all. Now here you can resize. I am going to close this uh, flower picture. We don't need. This is our layer palette and we have three layers. The first layer is the main image. Then we have black and white floral design and this is the rose. Once you will transfer image from one canvas to another, Photoshop will create automatically new layer for that. And the default sequence is layer one, layer two and this what we have here. If we want, we can even rename the layers. We can double click and type your desired name. I will just type here floral. Double click on this layer, rose, and this layer will be a butterfly. So this is how we can rename the layer. Most of the time, once you will open an image in Photoshop, the main layer, it is locked. The way I am going to do now, you can see here we have locked. If you will observe this lock, this is outline lock and here we have another one that is filled. This is presenting that the layer is partially locked and here we have lock all, it means the layer is fully locked. Now we lock the pixel, once I click on this pixel, in this layer we can fill but outside of the pixel area we cannot go. This is full canvas, you might not understand, we will go to this and pixel lock. Now in this layer the pixels lock. Once I will use my brush tool to add color, only the color will work inside this image area. Let's try. Here we have brush tool and my foreground color is red. Our layer is partially locked. And if I will fill the color, even I am moving the brush outside of the image area, but the color is not spreading outside because we lock the pixel. Control Z undo. Now this layer or this floral design is having only transparent pixels locked. Transparent pixels mean around the area it is locked. But if I will click on this lock image pixel, now we will not be able to color with the brush. Though my brush is selected, but once I will bring the mouse to this image, you can see it shows the mark of the lock. It is telling that could not use the brush tool because the layer is locked. But if I will click on move tool, still we can select it and we can move it. Okay, the third option here we have position. If I will click on position, now even we cannot move it. Though move tool is selected, if I will try to select, Photoshop is selecting image behind this. So now we cannot move this, we cannot change the position of this image. And another option here we have that is related to the artboard in our coming lesson. We will be learning about this since we don't have any artboard. And the next one is lock all. If I will click on floral, this is the layer. Now it is fully locked if I will click. To unlock, simply we need to click here. Now once again, this layer is free. At the bottom here, we have some options. The first one is link layer. Now it is disabled because in order to link, we need to select multiple layers. Let's unlock this layer also. Here we have three layers. I will select the first layer, that is butterfly image. By pressing shift key, if I will click, all the layer in between will be selected. Rose, floral and butterfly, three of them selected. If I will click on butterfly and press control key, now I can customize my selection. If I don't want to select floral, I can go to the rose and if I have additional layers still, I can select the way I want. 
I'm going to select the floral with the rose. So press control key and click. Now these both layers are selected. And here you can see now the link button, it is active. If I will click it, these two layers will be linked. And here we have link mark. If I will click on this layer, this layer will be moved with that. Now you can move together both layer. They are linked. To unlink the layer, simply right click, unlink layer. So both of them now unlinked. Once again, we can link three of them. If I will select this layer, press shift key and select the top layer and link again. Now here we have three linked layer. If I will click and drag, the background is also moving with the rose and floral layer. The link layer, we can unlink the way we want. Let's say we have now floral layer linked with the rose and butterfly and I want to unlink only this layer. So simply select this layer and right click, click on unlink layers. So only this layer is unlinked. Now we can move this layer, but if I will click on rows, it is still linked with the background and they will move together. And once again, if I want to link, I can select this and one of the linked layer by pressing control key and simply right click and click on link layers. So this is how the link works. Let's unlink all the layer by pressing shift key. I will select right click unlink layers. So now we have here three layer separately. We can select them. Let's select this layer rose layer. And here we have next option layer style. If I will click, you will see here we have different layer styles. If I will click on blending options, layer styles dialog box will open. And here we have all options that we can use for selected layer. I am going to just use border for this rose flower. We need to make sure that the same layer is active, it is selected. In order to apply border outline around, we need to use stroke. So if I will just click, the default stroke will be applied. But if I want to modify, I want to add it, I want to increase the thickness, I need to double click in this area. Double click. Now we have here specific control for stroke. So here we have size. If I want, I can increase and reduce. By default, it is applied and you can see it is inside. If I want, I can bring it outside. We have center also. So we are going to apply outline. Now our border is outside. If you want to have sharp corner with the border with the stroke, I will prefer inside. And here is the opacity. If I want, I can increase and reduce. The color, I will leave it as it is. stroke it is applied and you can see with this layer here we have mark fx this is presenting that this layer is having layer style layer style we can apply to the image and text also the next here we have layer mask and create new fill or adjustment layer we can leave it for later and here we have create new group we can organize our layers by group it is simple now rose layer is selected. If I want to bring rose and floral inside the group, I can press control key and select the floral and simply click on group. And now here we have a new group. To rename the group, it is simple, double click and then you can give name, let's say flower. This is how we can rename the group. Now if I will click here, I will be able to expand this group and you can see rose and floral layer is inside flower group. Group also we can duplicate. If I will select this group and click on this button here, create new layer, directly we cannot create the group. Photoshop will create new layer over this group. Control Z undo. If I want to duplicate this group, I will click and drag this group over this button. Now we have another copy of that group and it's having the same content that we have in our flower group. If I will expand this here, you can see rose and floral, both layers are in the copied group as well. 
to delete the group with its content it is simple click and drag here now the group and the layer inside the group is deleted undo ctrl z if i want to bring out the content from the group it is simple also once the group is selected you can click on this trash can icon and it will give you message that you want to delete the group if i will click on group only the content of the group will be out now we have rose and floral in the main state and we don't have any more group once again control z undo also you can delete group with its content once it is selected if you will click here and you will use this button group and content both the group and layers will be deleted let's delete this group group only here we have layer from that group this is the button to create new layer or group and this is to delete the layer and group here we have blending modes blending mode we use to blend two layer if i will click on this layer floral layer our blend mode is normal if you have white and black detail in your image and you will apply from this section darken multiply color burn the white fill will be moved and black will remain if i click on darken it is without background and we can use wherever we want to make opposite we have other option here in this section light and screen color dodge you will be able to move the black color from your image if i will click on screen now you can see that all the black color is gone and we can see through the butterfly image from this layer in these two section blend modes will work this way if you have white and black content but the same blend mode if you will use for the color image let's say for this flower if i will select this layer and same blend mode if i will use the result is different photoshop is completely blending the top image with the background different blend mode you can apply to get the desired result you cannot predict what will be the outcome unless you will use the specific blend mode in our coming lesson we will be learning more about blend modes let's select this image and apply darken so we don't have any background with this and wherever we want we can use in our image this way in front of blending mode here we have opacity if i will select this image and reduce the opacity it will affect the border and image itself we are losing the detail of the image and our layer style it is also dim and under opacity we have fill the difference between opacity and fill is if i will reduce the layer style will remain and only fill will be affected now we have layer style the border is there but our flower it is affected by fill and here we have different filters we can apply on the layer if you have a lot of layers and you want to track by filter we have different options here smart object if you want to filter only smart object you can click on smart object right now we don't have artboard if we have text layer also we can filter text layer i can give you example of the name for now we have name here if i will click on name now the name filter is applied if i will type specific name let's say rose now in our layer palette only we can see the rose layer once i will click here and click on the kind now we have different types here filter for pixel layers all images consider pixels since we have all images so this filter it might not work we have adjustment layer in our coming lesson we will be learning about that let's type text here here we have a text tool in our toolbox click on move tool and increase the size here is our channel name hit enter now here we have text if i will click on this button photoshop will filter only text layer now you can see here we have text layer photoshop created automatically one layer for text and if i will click on this filter 
all the text layer only will be shown in the layer palette. Same thing here we have a shapes. If we will create shape, we will be able to see only the shape once we will click on this button. And in front of this here we have smart object. Once we will convert any layer into smart object, we will be able to track them by using this control. These are the basic things that on this point you really need to know. That's all for now. I hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice. Guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.